Hello everyone, today I will be showing you my Minecraft world, first off, you can already see what the fuck is this render distance, so let me show you, this is the work of a trio of mods, let me climb somewhere literally. And the fact that egg collected from a faraway distance is an effect of a rule change. And this mod extends my render distance freely up to infinity. But my PC would uh, literally overheat, I mean. Let me show you how much... Uh, my render distance is 100 chunks, simulation is at 13, FPS is at 150. Just because my processor otherwise would be at 90 degrees, causing the PC to shut down. <clears throat> and so far, I started leveling down this area. This was the mountain a day earlier. I used the diamond excavator, which is basically diamond shovel, but area of effect, and the netherite hammer, which is basically pickaxe, but area of effect. Mm which is actually a second mod, to be exact. Other mod that let me chop this area down, let me show you how big this is. Because it took some time to chop uh, everything here down. I chopped everything from that beach, up to there, and this area here, where I lead my cursor from. I literally chopped this down by hand, however with Tricapitator I could chop everything down in one hit, and with the command change I could literally get the looting in a better way. Basically everything within like several block radius, like 3, 5, 7, teleports to me and I automatically pick it up. And it works like a repeater. And there you can already see my trade halls, breeders and farms there. Let's go there. I'll show you. <clears throat> of course, I can't forget to kill this dude that I saw earlier, or maybe he despawned. I don't know. And all those floating chests you see around is what I already collected. Well, I can see. Oh, I can. With hitbox it's way easier. And these eggs gave me so much problems, to the point that I had to move one of my egg farms, which was manual egg farm around here. <laughs> because I kept collecting automatically these eggs thanks to the rule change I made. <clears throat> What was that sound? Ah, oh, those are just villager sounds, okay. 
First my beetroot farm, carrot farm and potato farm and now my wet farm for the breeder. I place trapdoors so nothing goes to water. Of course I place those trapdoors before changing my rule to have better looting. This here is uh, automatic iron farm. Let me show you quickly. Oops. It uses iron ingots. I mean, it uses zombie and three pillagers up there. Zombies try to go to sleep, they get scared of that, so they spawn Iron Golem, which you hear dying right now. And the loot goes here. Let me collect the poppy po. <coughs> And this is my home, I mean hall. I smelt. I enchant books, I enchant tools, and I parallel everything. Now let me go and compost this stuff freely. <laughs> Trade center number one, which consists of Stick and string trade. Part two of trade center number one, which consists of hooks and then chants. And where do I get string from? From this little string duper. It was chore to set this shit up. I should encase it in obsidian, just so it won't get harmed. I have some cows here, I mean girlfriends, I mean cows. <laughs> <coughs> and then there is my sugarcane farm. Well, dolphins grace it swims so slowly. Of course, this uh, sugarcane farm works. It was designed by me. Lossless sugarcane farm. It's made 64 plus 32, 96 block wide. Twenty-five. <coughs> we don't need to care much about here. I have my farms here, which is jungle tree farm. Later there is acacia tree farm. I have tons of oak and bitch trees there, I have dark oak trees there, and shroom trees there, as you can see the small little red square. In the distance of 100 chunks. Now, this is so far all my chickens that dropped that I dropped only from eggs. <coughs> Roast Kiara, tasty. Oh, there's a lot of eggs. I'm gonna show you how fun auto clicker is with eggs. Because I recently started to use auto clicker in building and in egg shooting. Let me show you. 
Auto clicker online. Torturing chicken with their own eggs. Now that's corporate style. <laughs> Whoops. And so far it was spawned. Don't you think so? And since I spawned more chickens, there will be more eggs for me to throw later. And alive. I always wonder if I will eventually die jumping from the on those little dirt patches. And the sun came down quickly. And of course I lit here with some lanterns and while I was lighting here... Oh, eggs! While I was lighting there I got a Raiden. Of course. <laughs> So let me sleep, let me mine those, and let me show you the trident actually. This trident I enchanted, it was almost broken and no enchants, and I got it from literally only one drowned. Just one. Now, where was the silk touch I left alone, okay? I think I remember. Nope. 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 Okay, there is stone pickaxe with a silk touch. Yep, stone pickaxe because I don't give a shit what I enchant. Because I have infinite EXP farm. Give me your eggs! Oh, now I already have eggs, I can hide them and show you another thing I found, which I of course shown already on my Twitter, but if you don't follow my Twitter, then I might as well show you right now. Though I usually play this game muted. <laughs> and this is my home, which is my home. Some zombie, okay. Where was the hole? I think it was this hole. Oh yes, this is that hole. Okay, now I will know. Now fucking the loot at this. I met this geode open. A sea of freaking love. Continuing with a lava waterfall out there. Uh, I need to destroy some of those.
Okay. This hammer deals 17 attack damage. And this like upgraded axe. I'm just lighting this up a little bit just because I show you I don't have any guilt in lighting this up I outplayed skeleton with a freaking trap door Now, some more light here and there. Eating some food. And when I saw the Sea of Lava, I asked one question. Who the fuck spawned the nether in my overworld? Oh, diamond. They are quite often. So, you can see for yourself, literally. And what this biome is scale called? Minecraft Reader. This giant freaking lava cave is called Minecraft Reader. Oops, that was zombified villager. Of course, I also had many unlucky moments where lightning struck all of my trade centers and each villager, like four villagers in my trade centers were turned into witches. But I can still forgive that happily enough. My PC goes a wug. So far, I believe you've seen already everything including my plants. This is the type of door I always use. Let me show you what do I mean by always. And I put another version, another place where I can activate the rule change. <laughs> and let me show you game I can't use game mode DAD for now but I put this here thanks to mods that could let me put command blocks and this shit, this stuff is block of raw iron. I mined it there. And I believe it is also one of the rarest things in Minecraft. Here is also my obsidian farm, which turned to be another cave. But whatever.
Of course, I stopped mining for here because of the all lava that we see. And as you can see, the day is ending. Let me just break this golem. Three strikes. No idea why golems spawn on glass here. Nothing is supposed to spawn on glass. And those are so far my villagers and that turtle. That turtle that they got as a present. Oh, I forgot to turn the rule off. Meowsers here. I'll beat the villagers and end the episode. And I just saw pistons being pushed there. No. I hope we will get diamond golem eventually. That will literally shoot a floating object. Or maybe all those mods in vanilla. That would be fun. Calamity mod in vanilla. Or in a video in vanilla that lets me see 100 chunks as I shown you already. Okay, the letters are breeding. I spam torches here because some monsters were spawning. I see the hearts there. And will we see a new villager? I don't think we will. But I put slabs over here just so iron coins won't spawn here. And will spawn somewhere else. Villagers, three villagers are breeding at the same time. I'm just witnessing a triangle. Okay, another bread. They are still breeding there. Another bread, and there is more breeding. I will end the episode right when the new villager is shown. No. This can be planted on sun. Damn, they are so dirty.
Everyone is breathing now. Let me see. I'm reading right now on me tweets in Minecraft. I don't think they are me tweets. They look normal to me. I have no idea why they won't breed. And no one has breathed yet. What the fuck? Anyways, I got every farm here so far that I could do myself, including string farm. Heck, I even recently started building mob farm out in the sea. And also zombie ple pleglen farm. Zombie pigment farm. Let me show you. Oh god, the nether always looks cool. I hear a ghost. And where do I want to build this uh, pigment farm? Of course, on the nether roof, because I use a glitch to remove one block of the nether roof. So I could place ladders here and just go around and climb up. This block here was uh, changed, literally. And of course, I put the rule changer here. As well. I'm a hide no. Yep, mods. Repeating command block and lever. Liver. And the other area there, several blocks away, is the area I wanted to use as a uh, both no uh, pigment farm and the monster farm on the other side. And yeah, I was in the end already, as you can see. But the nether ender and portal is so far away I won't be showing you how the heck did I get there and this is the area where I mined for netherite as you can see I have full armor that I could enchant netherite all four netherite pickaxe, hammer and axe as well Now let's go back to Overworld and finish the episode. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you had a fantastic day. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.